Forest Watch Ghana. A civil society group is calling on government to investigate the allegations made by the chief executive officer of the Forestry Commission, Kwejo Usufriye, that some people in authority have been helping illegal miners return to mining in forest reserves. According to them, this is a worrying statement and concern which warrants an independent committee to be set up to investigate the issue in order to punish perpetrators. The assertions, they stated, will create doubt in the minds of the general public about the president's commitment in fighting illegal mining. All right, uh, let's quickly get to the studio and speak with uh, Seth Walashime, who is a mining consultant of all of these developments. Thanks very much uh, for, and uh, Happy New Year. Haven't seen you this year. Great. So all the happenings, uh, we're, we're hearing of uh, excavators getting missing. We're hearing of uh, re-emergence of illegal mining in forest reserves. This must be very worrying for you. Well, I, I think that... Uh this situation is, is really become a nightmare. Mm. First of all, uh, why would excavators that have been seized, you know, just vanish into things? You know, uh, it's like uh, a kind of fairy tale, mm. uh, so to speak. And, you know, I remember when this uh, interministerial committee was put in place and when uh, this vanguard Operation Vanguard was launched and all that. I said, if it was going to be a short-term measure, then that would be fine. But we cannot just do things on an ad hoc basis and expect to get results. I always say that there are institutions mandated under the laws of Ghana mm. to supervise the mining sector. Now, what kind of resources are, be, are they being given to make sure that they fulfill their mandate? And all we see is formation of ad hoc committees here and there. And God knows what kind of resources go into these kind of activities, which could have been channeled into the, you know, uh, legally mandated institutions to be able to up their game, to be able to supervise the sector, you know, creditably. And I'm not surprised. I, I knew that this was going to be the end of the story. And I am shocked that the chairman of the ministerial committee himself is saying that the, the excavators have vanished. Mm. Jesus Christ. Do you feel that the fight against Galamse has been lost? Well, I won't, I won't, I won't conclude. That, that would be a I mean, very because stupid. I mean, you look at how far the fight came from the establishment of the task force to the interministerial committee, and then uh, after we saw what appeared like uh, to be like a normalization of the situation, suddenly it's becoming a bit worse. And that should give those who are fighting against uh, Galam say, wondering whether the fight has been won or lost. Well, I, I, I wouldn't conclude like that. It would be unfair to, mm. to, to make such a sweeping statement. You think progress has been made? Well, some, some of level progress. of progress. It's mm. only that it was not sustained. But what I'm trying to say is that this issue of putting ad hoc committees in place has never worked, will never work. And so we should rather focus on the institutions. Why do you get the sense that it will never work? It has never worked. I want to understand. No, because, because you know, let me tell you the story. There was one officer in the Vanguard, you know, operation mm -hmm. that was being sent to peacekeeping operations in Lebanon. Mm -hmm. And the guy was weeping. Because, you know, if you go to the armed forces, peacekeeping outside the country is, is something that everybody is yearns for. But this guy was in the vanguard, and then he was being sent abroad on peacekeeping mission, and he didn't want to go. Why? So what, what was happening, mm. what was he gaining in that vanguard operation that would make him you know, fight tooth and nail not to go on a peacekeeping mission? So, you see, it's a recipe for corruption. Mm. Those kinds of ad hoc things that they do are rep recipes for corruption because these uh, military men are here supervise the illegal miners to mine and take their share. That is what is happening. That is what is happening and nobody is talking. And, and I'm disappointed in uh, Dr. Frimpo Mbwati because I thought he was such a, a fine gentleman with a lot of experience and, and integrity. But 
You don't hey. think things could be going behind his blind side well, without well, knowing? Well, the back stops with the, who is leading the mm. group. Mm. You know, who the back stops So under the circumstance, we're getting excavators getting missing, we're getting illegal mining resurfacing in, in forest areas. Uh, what would you recommend to be the most effective way forward from here? Well, we, we have put our hand in, in this mess already. And therefore, this, uh, uh, what do you call it, the vanguard, shoot up their game if they have to increase the numbers mm. to make sure that they bring, you know, uh, uh, clamp down, you know, heavily on these people once mm. and for all. Mm. And then we find a way of moving back to the institutions that have been mandated. You don't think there being enough clamp down? I mean, there was a ban on illegal mining, which affected a lot of incomes. Uh, there are many small-scale miners, registered small-scale miners, who were complaining about the effect this has had on their livelihoods. And now you, you're thinking that they could up the game how much more can they up considering well, what has been achieved so well, far well if if the measures they put in place was working mm -hmm. why would we be where we are here where we are we are now we are where we are specifically because failures of the measures <laughs> they have not done enough and so once they are there we should make sure that we increase their numbers let them you know clamp down heavily once and for all and then let's go back find a sustainable way of of supervising this sector mm -hmm so that this country can have its peace. Are you confident that uh, uh, upping the game and, I mean, you know, because I'm asking this because a lot has been done already. We've, we've, we've seen quite a lot of actions, including the setting up of the interministerial committee and all of that. So if all these haven't worked, then it's like uh, just giving up, really. Stephen, but the flip side is that you disband all these people and find another, uh, another solution. And that will take a lot of time. Mm. So once they are there on the ground already, I think that it just makes sense that they should be given, you know, more resources in terms of men mm -hmm. and boots on the ground mm -hmm. to be able to make sure that, uh, you know, they, they, they clamp down on these people. That, that would be a wise thing to that do. That would be a wise thing to do, Seth. I we're grateful for your time. Thanks very much. Seth Wallace is a mining consultant.